What's up gamers, the Red Dragon here, and today we are taking a look at the front page of YouTube. You know, over the course of the last few months, they make changes. Some are for the better, some are to totally screw everybody else over. And uh, during the course of that time, there's been a lot of issues. A lot of people have been unsubbed from other people. I've been unsubbed from uh, people that I've subscribed to. Other people have commented and, and told me or sent me messages that they've been unsubscribed from me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to filter out everything, all the junk that you don't need. I'm going to show you some things that hopefully you didn't know about, uh, at least some of you, and uh, try to make it easier for you to use YouTube. You shouldn't need a tutorial, first of all, to use YouTube. But anyway, it is what it is, so we're here now. So this is the front page of my YouTube. So these are my subscriptions, and these are the default settings. If you go to View this is highlights highlights what that means is youtube is deciding what it wants to show you how it decides that nobody knows that's the million dollar question what you want to be sure that you do is select everything this way youtube is out of the picture you're getting all the content but you're getting a lot of content you're seeing every time somebody comments on a video somebody likes a video whether it's theirs or somebody else's and this does allow you to see a, a lot of videos or subscriptions from people maybe that you wouldn't have normally seen. But I want to be sure that I see the videos from the people I've already subscribed to. That's why I subscribe to them, because I want to see their content. So if you want to do that, click Show Uploads Only. And uh, this is the new setup for how that looks. Now, if you see one that's kind of dimmed out, that means it's already been watched. And if you have something that's already been watched or you don't care to watch it, then we can sit there and click on this little box and click hide this activity or you can also click only show uploads from Ubisoft or whatever or I can unsubscribe from them. I don't want to unsubscribe from them I just want to hide this activity that way whenever I come back to the page later on it's going to be hidden and so that way I can filter out kinda of, so I'm already kinda of lowering down the videos that I'm seeing so I can get to the content that I want to now a lot of people are subscribed to several different channels but we all have our favorites. We all have our favorite YouTubers that, that put out content that you want to be sure that, if nothing else, that you get to see their videos. So if that's the case, over here to the left, you can pin several of your favorite YouTubers. These are mine. If we uh, click on one, we'll click on Wings of Redemption, you'll see that these are all dimmed out. That's what I was talking about. So I've already seen these. But notice that whenever I clicked on his name, it's showing me all his activity. So again, if, if he commented on El Presdor's video. And so I want to only see Wings of Redemption's uploads. So I would have to click, uh, click that. Now, all this stuff should be default settings. I, I don't know why. But they want YouTube wants to make sure that they're giving you all kinds of new content. Uh, so that's why you got to go the extra mile to make sure that you get the content that you want. Now, how to pin your favorite subscribers you go down here to see all these are all the people I'm subscribed to and so you'll notice that the ones with pins are people that I've pinned and you can only have 10 max that are pinned right now and if you so if I undo that now I have the ability to set up a new list uh, if I want to do that as well I'm just gonna put that back up there and go back to my home page uh, but that's how you pin your favorite subscribers. So if if you got people out there that you really want to be sure that you see their content, then be sure that you do that. Uh, let's look at something else that you can do to help yourself out. Let's go over to Lost in Place. Now, everybody, you know, they have a subscription button. And if you highlight it, if you just scroll over it, don't click it because it'll unsubscribe you. But just highlight over it and you'll notice that there'll be a box this is probably the most important tip I can give you click email me for each new upload and even if they upload several times a day it'll still compact it into one nice email so it's not going to keep on spamming you and even if you have somebody who uploads you know five videos a day it's not five different emails it'll all be compiled into one nice little list so I really recommend if you want to be sure that you get all the content from your favorite subscriber or youtuber click this email that's that's the best tip I can possibly give to you so everybody that I want to make sure that I get their content I always have an email sent to me for that content and it comes right to my sub box one other thing you can do to be sure that you get all the uh, the videos from your subscribers is go to your channel 
go down here to subscriptions and here you will see a list of all the people that I've subscribed to and you'll you've got a nice little format here that shows you all the videos so if I want to click on um, marijuana man <laughs> I can see all his videos that he's uploaded and it's nice in a nice clean format here where I can see all the latest uploads so that way I can make sure that I don't miss anything so that's the basic gist I, I guess the I mean these are the tips it is what it is I, I still don't think that you need a tutorial to use YouTube but um, you know what can you do all I can do is show you how to best use it and hopefully YouTube will fix it where it's a little bit better later on and one more thing that I will show you is like for instance uh, you have some people who are partners they have the capability to do shows and you know my channel it's it's a variety of shows so I do a lot of different content I do a lot of different games I do you know serious commentaries I do comedies I do all kinds of stuff but some people only like coming to my channel to get my Battlefield information because I put out a lot of Battlefield 3 content or, or any Battlefield game really. So if you have a show icon on, on one of your subscriptions, you'll see this in the uh, little description box. It's got a nice little icon there and if you click that icon it'll actually take you to the show page. Now here you don't see it because this is my channel but if you were viewing this you would actually see us another subscribe button where you could subscribe only to this battlefield show so that way anytime I upload anything that has to do strictly with battlefield I'll put it into the battlefield show and then that way you can make sure that you get another update saying hey this is a battlefield video so you want to make sure that you see this because you're all into battlefield and you like battlefield so that is the tutorial for today for how to use YouTube so hopefully you enjoyed it and again whether it's me or another favorite person on YouTube that you like to enjoy uh, you want to make sure that you get their content because for us as creators it's hard enough to, to try to come up with a new idea every day to post up a video about so you want to be sure that you support support these people because it is a lot of hard work to come up with a new idea to go through and edit to get gameplay footage or, or whatever it is that they're doing and uh, to put new content out there and you want to be sure that that you're going there you're watching the content and if it's good give them a rating if it's good leave them a comment because that actually filters into the algorithms for the videos so YouTube used to focus on views so they used to give priority to videos that had a lot of views but then view bots got involved people started hacking and all this other bunch of crap so now the way they've got it set up is it's set on um, the the interaction with the user so if it sees a lot of people interacting with stuff if it knows that you're watching the full video if it knows that you're rating the video if it knows that you're commenting on it it thinks hey this must my this must be a pretty good video so I'm going to put it higher up in the the recommended or or search category or whatever else so that it's easier for other people to find so you're really in control of who is successful and who isn't on YouTube it's up to you so uh, that's why you should take the time to uh, to do all those things especially uh, if you like the person so that does it for me the red dragon hopefully you enjoyed something and uh, I'll see you next time thanks for watching